Breakfast with Jesus, Series 2. It's the early bird that gets the word. How wonderful to spend the start of the day thinking about what our Lord Jesus has to say to us, reflecting on His promises and on His presence with us. May this be your blessed experience in the coming days. Where there is God, there is hope. Breakfast with Jesus, hope. Hear the word of the Lord. Romans 15 verse 13 May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit Romans 15 verse 13 Surely we can continue in hope whatever our personal circumstances may be Our life may have its ups and downs but the God of hope is constant, constantly trending upwards. He enjoys filling us up to the brim. We have a word of comfort and cheer for ourselves and those that God wants us to meet each day. Our God supplies the original hope, no copies or fakes. It originates with Him. And the guarantee that we can abound in that hope is the person of the precious Holy Spirit. All joy and peace comes with believing our Lord Jesus has paid the price in full at Calvary. G. Campbell Morgan tells a story of a man whose shop had been burned the great Chicago fire of October 1871. He arrived at the ruins the next morning, carrying a table which he set up in the charred remains of his store and upon which he placed the sign, everything lost except wife, children, and hope. Business will be resumed as usual tomorrow morning. What a guy. Only the Holy Spirit can do a work like this in a person's heart when all appears lost. The Puritan Thomas Manton explains how. What an excellent ground of hope and confidence we have when we reflect upon these three things in prayer. The Father's love, the Son's merit, and the Spirit's power. The abiding Holy Spirit will cause Him to do more than just survive, but to abound. Similarly, we have been given such bouncing back hope from God, a godly hope personally underwritten by His Holy Spirit. Quotation from Apostle Paul in Romans 8, 31, 32. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not His own Son, but delivered Him up for us all, how shall He not with Him also freely give us all things? Let us now pause for personal reflection.
Breakfast with Jesus. This is Andrew Gunn.